Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I have created a simple video player with EXO player library and also it has a picture in picture option. To implement the EXO player, we first need to add the dependencies in Gradle file. And after adding the dependencies, we need to sync the project. Once done, let's go to the main activity and this is the layout file in which I have added the EXO player. Currently, I have customized the layout. So before seeing that, I would like to show you how the default layout of the EXO player looks. So I am removing the controller layout ID and running the application. And now as the application is built, you can see the default layer of EXO player. Now let's add the controller layout ID and see the changes. As you can see, there is only play, pause, fast forward, rewind and progress bar. I've created a custom layout that not only changes the layout but also handles the function itself. We do not have to write any extra code to handle this and it's very simple. Now let's get into the EXO player layout and see the design. This is a frame layout and it has play, pause, fast forward, rewind image buttons that only overrides the IDs of the main EXO player controller. So we need to make sure that the IDs are same and the functionalities of the IDs will be played when it is overrided. As of now, the layout part is done. We also need to do some code changes in the main activity to play the video. First, we need to declare the EXO player and I have created a method called initialize player. And in that method, I am initializing the EXO player and I am also setting the resize mode to fill, which will show the video in full screen. Now we need to set up the media item, that is, set up the URL to play. It can have multiple videos that will play one after the other or can be changed by clicking on the next button. As of now, I have only one video and we need to prepare the player so that it is ready to play the video and once the video player is ready, we can play the video. Now for picture in picture mode. Picture in picture mode is nothing but a small view that is enabled when we come out of the app when a video is playing which helps you to watch the video in the same time while accessing other features in the app or the other applications in the phone at the same time. For this, we need to just call one method called the enter PIP mode. Let's go to the manifest file so that we can do some changes for the picture in picture mode. That is, we need to add support picture in picture to true and then add the orientation of the screen uh, as you wish and also set the scaling orientation in manifest. I am calling the enter PIP mode function in the on back pressed button. So when the user clicks on the back button, it goes to a picture in picture mode. I'm also using a Boolean uh, variable so that I'll get to know when the video is in picture in picture mode or the app is getting resumed. So once the screen is resumed, it, uh, it goes to a full screen mode. If the back button is pressed, it goes to the picture in picture mode.
Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel.